Pairwise, interesting, powerful, but quite complicated test design technique. Why complicated, you will ask me? Actually, it's a little bit hard to apply this technique to the uh, big data scope, I mean big test data scope. Uh, everything starts from the IBM research, which was made and this company found that 97% of software issues are caused by interaction only of two prompts. So, failures in general are caused by not the complicated several uh, params uh, combinations. Often, the core of failures is inside only two params. So, about the term, about the definition. Pervise, it's the uh, technique when each test value of each of the checked parameters is at least once combined with each tested values of all the other checked parameters. So, to understand this information, uh, I will suggest to focus your attention on the table from the left side of the screen. Here you can see the um, specific uh, requirements for um, the application which used to sell laptops. So, uh, it's something like the wizard, yes? Uh, here we have um, three check parameters. From, from our definition, we have here the term which is checked parameters, yes. Let's try to identify what are the checked parameters in this abstract example. So, three checked parameters are operating system, memory and color. Inside each of these checked parameters, we have two values. It's, um, it means like test values. From our definition, we can uh, say that uh, we have two test values for each checked parameters. So, uh, to test all possible combinations here, we need uh, in total 8 test cases. So, 2 multiply 2 and multiply 2, it means like that in total we will need 8. Quite easy, absolutely agree. But if we will have not 2 test values for each check parameters, but for example 100. So, 100 multiply 100 and multiply 100 more, so, in total, we'll have 1 million test cases. Uh, to perform such such great amount of uh, test uh, activities, it will be quite hard. Also, during the execution, uh, there will be a lot of human mistakes. Yes, because it's uh, some kind of the combinatorical tests and uh, it's very easy to make some kind of mistakes there. So, to avoid such kind of... Uh, um, of situations, we need to use the pervise. Pervise is able to decrease a uh, total amount of test cases up to 50%. So, for example, uh, in this abstract uh, wizard, which is created for uh, laptop sailing, yes, um, we have in total eight test cases. But uh, how to decrease this amount? So, from the left side, you can see all pairs that are needed to be uh, tested here. Yeah, and from the right side we can see the optimized uh, amount of the test cases with the um, pervised test design technique. So in total we will need only four test cases for our um, pervised uh, approach. Yes. So uh, why do we need it? Let's try to check once more our definition of the pervised test design technique. So each test value. Let's make a stop here. Each test value in our example, what is it? It's operating system, it's memory, and it's color. Inside of these params, we have test values. Yes? So, for operating system, it will be Mac and Windows. For memory, it will be 250 and 1000. And for color, it will be white and black. So, each test value, let's focus, for example, at the very beginning uh, on the first column, which is operating system. So, Mac and Windows, yes? So, each test value of each check parameters is at least once combined with each tested values of all other test parameters. So, if we will focus firstly on the first column, which is operating system, and we have Mac here, so we are interested to combine this Mac with uh, all tested values of uh, other check parameters, and we have two check parameters others. Memory and color. In memory, 250 and uh, 1000. And in color, we have black and white. So, there's enough only to test these unique combinations. So, MAC we used to combine with 250 
at the first uh, case, yes. And at the four case, we used to indicate uh, the combination of MAC and the memory value, which is 1000. Also, black and white is also combinated at the third level of um, our dependencies, yes. With the red color, there are indicated tests that are not applicable for pairwise because they duplicate our activities. So we do not uh, find any additional issues uh, if we will run these test cases. So in general, you can see all the power of this test design technique, uh, all what you need to know about it. So for big scope of the test data, we use automated approach and the link for uh, these automated tools are what is presented inside of the previous slide. Let's go next.